Your body gives off electrical signals. Your body gives off signals from your heart, from your eyes, and from your brain. And we at NeuroSky make biosensors for every body. Our first product focuses on what's called EEG, which is the very faint electrical signals that are given off by your head uh, that are manifested by the synapses of the neurons in your brain. Your entire head gives off electrical signals. Our technology focuses on one or possibly two places, and we take the, the brain waves that come off of your head in electro, electrical, convert the analog into digital, and then process that through some proprietary mathematical algorithms and are able to determine, for example, are you paying attention? Are you meditating and relaxing? Are you blinking? Are you moving your muscles? And we can discern each of those and separate them and use those to do things with a computer or with a, a vehicle and it can be used as either a command and control mechanism or it can be just an accent for something such as a video game. <laughs> the, the control mechanisms that are out in the marketplace are fantastic. The, the, the Wii and the new Microsoft Natal, we don't seek to replace those. We want to accent those and enhance that experience. So for example, in a first-person shooter game, you might have your, your gun, and you run from one bunker to the next. And you get there, and you're breathing hard, and your vision is blurry, and you need to relax. And in relaxing, your vision becomes clear, your crosshairs start to focus, and you pay attention, and it becomes steady, and poof, take your shot. It's suited for uh, casual games, for serious games. The most traction that we've gotten thus far in the US and in the Asian marketplace has been around uh, both education games and brain training games. So these are games that are oriented around building your attention, your capability of paying attention, and building your, your ability to relax and declutter your brain. And in the future, we're working with gaming companies around the world to have more uh, tr traditional gameplay in the areas that, that I had described where you can either take a, a better control where you blink for example something happens on screen or you can uh, use your uh, brainwaves to communicate with uh, one of your teammates in a multiplayer situation. In the beginning, in fact, you do, but that's a good form of exercise the same way that working out your muscles is an exercise. However, over the course of time, your mind gets conditioned to, as you train it, to just participate in the game and we will recognize that you are either in an attentive state or a relaxed state. And in the future, we'll have other ways of, of enhancing that, that gaming experience as well. Uh, one of the bigger challenges is in the filtering. There is a great deal of ambient noise, electrical noise in the environment. It comes from lights, it comes from me talking, it comes from my eye blinks, and uh, uh, it comes from the, the ambient sound. And so filtering all of that out and listening to the very faint EEG signal was the first challenge. <clears throat> um, the uh, ability to wirelessly transfer that to the computer or the control device is also a challenge with so many different phones and Bluetooths and Wi-Fi's and whatnot, but that RF is a challenge. Uh, but really the most enjoyable challenge is an intellectual one, and that is helping um, our research department figure out what are additional emotional states, such as anger, or uh, mental states that can be measured and ultimately developed and made available to the public for consumption in games and toys and medical applications. Overall, our company is a biosensor company, and so heart wave research, brain wave, optical, muscle research is all within our imminent domain. So for example, the ability to sense a heart attack uh, is very important. Um, the ability to sense where you're looking and use that as 
a uh, heads-up display command or helping a, a handicapped individual who might not have use of their hands communicate and participate. That is all part of our roadmap. There are some demonstrations that have been made available in the general public in the last few weeks where the ability to read thoughts is really where the, the future is headed. A uh, company, Intel, in the United States last week in New York demonstrated some technology that can, in fact, read your thoughts. Now, it requires a $2.5 million device. You need to put yourself into an fMRI tunnel, be claustrophobic and think. Um, and it requires a great deal of, of calibration. You need to think up, 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 down, 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 and you train the computer. In the future, that will uh, technologically become more capable and less expensive, and therein lies the future.